r slash ask reddit what's a uniquely american problem my tools are imperial but the thing i need to fix is metric my favorite is when you've got a car where the body is us customary units but the powertrain is metric my four wheeler is like that makes me so angry i can't even work on it myself um just buy a metric socket set problem solved marijuana being legal in over half the country but illegal in the whole country i don't know how dispensaries deal with that well weed is legal in this state so here's a business license but good luck opening a bank account and fingers crossed that you don't get raided by the feds so legal in the states but illegal in the states when in maine and you ask a mainer for directions some say you can't get there from here what's that mean much of maine is really rugged undeveloped mountainous lakes or swamps can't get there from here isn't literally true of course it just means the way you actually travel somewhere is way way longer than a straight line distance and might involve backtracking from your current location in northern michigan we describe towns as being below the bridge or above the bridge michigan is two peninsulas that were once totally separated by the five mile wide straits of mackinaw to get from mackinaw city to saint ignace in winter a person would either have to risk it crossing the ice over the deep straits or drive 12 hours through all of michigan and all of wisconsin it was longer than that in the 1950s when the bridge was built those people in Oregon who can't figure out how to pump their goddamn gas and have nearly killed people because of it. Obligatory gold edit. Thanks so much for my first gold. Like and Zoolander? Gaps in the doors of bathroom stalls. This is one of those things about living in America that drives me absolutely insane. Why doesn't this seem to bother anyone? What is the logic of the bathroom stall designer? I have so many questions. Extremely large tolerances to the parts more or less. I feel compelled to comment here. I was at work one day. I live in the US. And I work at a retail store with gaps in the stalls. I went in to do my business and while I sat there leaking my golden body juice. A very loud customer walks in and immediately looks directly in my stall and asks why we don't have electric scooters instead of the two wheelchairs we have that require you to roll yourself via the wheels or have someone else push you. I ignored her and she persisted and asked again while making eye contact. I ignored her again while looking directly into her eye. Incredibly rude. Incredibly weird. She pushed into my personal space when I thought I was in the one spot at work I could get some quiet. Florida. Florida man in particular. Or just Florida in its entirety? Both? Getting tailgated by moms in minivans or guys in monster trucks that could easily run your whole house over. And anyone who does this and isn't in a giant monstrosity of a vehicle always has their high beams on. I'll slow down to slightly under the limit when they do this. If a cop shows up. Well. I couldn't see for the blinding lights in all of my mirrors. I slowed down for safety. Can't argue with that. Trying to commit suicide because in debt. Gets saved by hospital. Gets more debt from medical bills. Repeat. Feel Spudman JPG. When I was going through some mental health issues in college and was suicidal, my therapist thought about Baker acting me, and I was furious. I told her that would just make things worse. I'd lose my job, be behind in my classes, and be even further into debt. I know she was just trying to help, and it's the system's fault not hers. But wow, it's wild how getting help can cause even more damage. I went to see a new therapist for the first time in years yesterday because I had no insurance but do now. I pay 400 a month on insurance solely to combat my depression and anxiety that's getting rapidly worse. He almost didn't take me on as a patient because I needed more help than he could provide and told me to go into a hospital now that I have insurance. I had to argue with him that that would cause me to lose my job and my insurance and then I'd truly be ducked with no options. He gave me a chance but damn it's ducking scary sometimes having any medical issues in the US. Having a good paying job, but needing to save up enough money for maternity leave. I remember sitting on my office floor crying when I found out I only got 60% of my pay during maternity leave. I know I should be thankful I got that, but it was a hit and being super pregnant, it was a big shock to take. The age old question of is that fireworks or gunshots? Sitting in LA and just played this game, it was followed with lots of sirens. 
Sadly the sirens don't give you any new information because they would start blaring for either situation. It a lack of car ownership severely restricting your life options. People blame Americans being fat on us being too lazy to walk anywhere, but they don't realize how pedestrian unfriendly some of these areas are. In my old town if I wanted to go just to the store, I'd need to walk a few hours to get there, on roads with large logging trucks barreling by, with no sidewalks, on shoulders that ranged from here is a few feet and then a sharp dip into a ditch full of blackberry bushes to literally nothing. Walk on the actual road. Oh and it was a curving road with lots of dips too, where there was a good chance that cars simply could not see you until you were right in front of them, and zero public transport of any kind that would come anywhere near my house. My new town is much better, but I still have to take a few detours on my way to the store due to the busy roads and complete lack of sidewalk in certain spots. Heated arguments over which fast food chain is the best. Related. Heated arguments about which location of the same fast food chain in your town is best. That is, the MCDS off the highway versus the MCDS on Main Saint. This is a real thing. Number 2 Taco Bells are the same. And you're ducked if it's a Taco Bell KFC duo. So much worse somehow. My order is always ducked up. Regardless of what it is I order. How you can walk into a store with $2 and cannot buy two things that are $1 each. Yeah I find it pretty stupid that prices in stores don't include tax in them. Here, Argentina, we have the IVA, Impusto El Valor Agregado. Just a universal tax, which is 21% stupid high, but it's included in every price in every item in every store. Never having gone outside of North America but being absolutely certain that the USA is the best country to ever happen in all of recorded history. In most places patriotism is wanting your country to be the best. In America patriotism is believing your country is the best. I spent my whole life in Texas. Then around 20 years old I moved to Germany and visited other places around Europe. It really changed my perspective. The US has a lot of good things about it. But a lot of things are broken too. So many Americans would rather just stick their head in the sand and insist that we are the best country ever. Then admit that there might be things we can learn from other countries. Corn. America grows so much corn. And so little of everything else. That it's ecologically devastating. Not only that. But the corn ends up. In some form or another. In just about every single food item we have. Just curious to know. How is it ecologically devastating? America's fixation on corn is the prime example of monocultures. A monoculture is when farmers grow a single crop in a large area. This is very evident in ag states like Iowa, who have turned to corn and other subsidized crops for government assistance. Monocultures are unnatural and really bad for the local ecosystems because pesticides and herbicides are used which end up in runoff. There is hypoxia in the Gulf because of the ag runoff in the Mississippi and it's killing the marine animals. Pesticides are harming bees, who are essential for almost half of the agriculture we produce in the US. Losing bees would completely change life as we know it. Also, long story short about biodiversity. High biodiversity is what makes a healthy ecosystem. With many different species around, you have a higher chance of ensuring the ecosystem survives. This is because if one species dies, other species can fill in for the services the extinct species provided for that ecosystem. If there is low biodiversity levels, you lose that safety net. So, when you reduce the number of crops an area cultivates, you are putting the ecosystem at risk of falling apart. There are some really great documentaries to watch if you are interested. Fresh, King Corn, Vanishing of the Bees, and many more. Edit, Word. Being a high school chemistry teacher, but not having enough money to pay for your own cancer treatments even with health insurance. So you resort to cooking methamphetamine for extra cash. Most American show ever. You can't talk shit about a stranger in a foreign language in public without the fear of them actually understanding you. Medical bills bankrupting you. Few years ago I was posted from one side of Canada to the other. I had never been to the US before and it was much faster to cut across from Washington to Michigan via I-90. 10 out of 10. Was awesome. Everyone I met was super nice. Got to see Yellowstone. 
MT Rushmore, Crazy Horse. I think I was in Wisconsin or South Dakota at breakfast and picked up a paper. There was a story about a local family. The elderly man had died and had requested to be buried next to his wife on the ranch the family had owned. Built and operated since the mid 1800s. But, the man had died with $300,000 worth of medical bills that no one in the family could pay. The bills had gone to debt collectors who were now expropriating the ranch and having the deceased husband and wife dug up for relocation. The family was fighting it. I was horrified. Not only at taking a family home, but also their livelihood and exhuming the dead. All over bills associated because someone died, these people had never done anything wrong paid their taxes just to lose it all because grandpa lost a battle to cancer it is despicable to treat people like that i realize this case is probably quite rare but just that it exists is awful i think about that family sometimes even though i never met them i hope it turned out all right but reality tells me it probably didn't it's important for pieces of family property like this to be placed in a trust so they can't be taken to pay medical bills the person bagging your groceries ducking up. Person put the milk on top of the eggs what the blessed duck. I don't have enough room in my walk-in closet for all of my ammunition. Walk-in closet for ammunition? What? Are you poor or something? Try having to add on a spare bedroom just to store your 5.56mm and then whine about your problems. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Not Kansas City, Kansas. Which is a silly place. The state line runs right through the middle of the metropolitan area. The correlation between obesity and poverty. It's remarkable how poor people are fatter than they've ever been. Poor health literacy, along with an unnecessarily convoluted healthcare system, easy cheap access to fast food, and zero transparency of what is in our food, has led to an appalling obesity and disgusting health problem. That is uniquely American. I visited London recently and remember being shocked that every restaurant had a food rating. If you tried to do that in America, somebody would cry about their first amendment being violated. My home city, Philadelphia, enacted a soda tax, and residents acted as if the government was treating all over them. If you mean the star rating up to 5, that's food hygiene rating not a measure of the healthiness of the food. There's red yellow green labeling on the fronts of packaged food for things like calories, fat and salt. So true about the food thing. Some people don't even drink water, they just drink pop. Some people literally buy cases of pop or juice to take home every time they grocery shop and drink that stuff every day. Then they wonder why their whole family is overweight. Healthy eating and food choices aren't as much a thing over there. That, and portion sizes at restaurants are absolutely huge. You have to own two sets of every tool, say and metric. Sometimes you don't have that certain size metric tool and hopefully your neighbor has one. The obesity. People who are average sized healthy now being told they are too thin. It's bad. I've really noticed it lately. Mexico and some Middle Eastern countries are catching up though. Thinking that your children are failures at life if they live at home after the age of 18. And, related, feeling like a failure if you choose to live in the home where you grew up, with your nuclear family. Us Asian Americans are totally cool with it. Seriously this, I was 26 before I could afford to move out, my dad, who's Korean, cried after helping me move my stuff, my mom, white, couldn't wait to leave after unloading the moving truck, I'm only 2 hours away from them but still, it was very strange to see their different reactions. In Michigan there's a joke about the roads always being under construction. Seriously, we're always in a battle with Ohio to see who can have a longer construction season. Flying for 5 hours and still being in the same country. Sure there are a few other countries that have the same problem. But we have cities people actually need to get to all over the damn place. Driving for 5 hours and still being in the same state. At least out here in the west. Starting in Texas. Driving for almost 1000 miles and still being in Texas. Having to tip for your meal. And writing a signature on a piece of paper for confirmation that you've paid. The signature isn't to confirm you paid. It's to authorize use of your credit card. You don't have to sign anything if you pay in cash. Not having a goddamn public health system. 
It is the ducking richest country in the world, spends 700 plus billion on defense, and its citizens have to pay for the ambulance ride. This is insane. And because it has no public system the private really put its prices on the sky. Because what the duck you're going to do, keep your arm broken. And the Americans don't say shit about it. Arguing whether or not climate change is real. Don't get me wrong. We have idiots everywhere. We're not as likely to give them the power to shape our long term future though. Ironically your unique problems such as the imperial system cause issues elsewhere. Most content on YouTube is American and it is very annoying trying to follow a tutorial given in imperial units. What's up with your land subdivisions? Y'all split a lovely large land mass into 50 tiny ass subdivisions. Then you walk into a different tiny ass subdivision and suddenly the laws change. And all your internet companies are snippy duckers who disagree and root around entire states resulting in ridiculous quality loss. In Australia we're like duck alright we've got this giant half of the country how do we get internet here from the other giant half of the country? In a straight line you're donghead. The complete lack of accommodation for anyone that wants to simply walk somewhere. There is a Taco Bell literally two properties away from where I live and if I want to legally cross the intersection to get there, not jaywalk, it would take over an hour because a pedestrian crossing light never gives me the go ahead. That's just getting there. Getting back is the same nightmare. I've never encountered a country, developed or otherwise, that was so divided on the subject of gun ownership. People in the rest of the developed world don't give nearly as much of a damn about their freedom to carry guns. People in unstable parts of the world don't have that luxury. Their freedoms are tangibly threatened though, so there's little room for choice. In most European cities, the majority of the city is nice, and then they have some smaller bad parts. In a lot of American cities, the majority of the city is poor and crime ridden, and then they have some smaller nice parts. Not all American cities, or even most, but way more than European cities overall. I remember bringing my friends from Germany to Philly and having to show them on a map which parts you can go to and which parts were poorer slash more dangerous. Those parts was like 2 stroke 3 RDS of the city, that blew his mind. Extremely complicated tax forms. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.